the member from Perth Wellington. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I am honoured to represent the people of Perth Wellington. I rely on their feedback to share their concerns and stories in this legislature. I am pleased that so many took the time to respond to my last survey. On top of mind for my constituents are skyrocketing energy costs. I heard heartbreaking stories about the impact that high bills are having. <clears throat> One couple had to sell their home as they couldn't afford their bills. When asked what this government's top priority should be, two answers dominated the responses, reduced energy costs and reduced government spending. Sadly, this government has done neither during their 13 years of power. When it comes to the government's plans to introduce the Ontario Retirement Pension Plan, a staggering 70 per cent of my constituents who responded are opposed. Nearly everyone who responded does not support the government's changes to the estate administration tax. In fact, 88 per cent of respondents told me that they're very concerned with the amount of debt this government has racked up. Over 90 per cent of respondents have not received the 15 per cent reduction in auto insurance rate that this government promised them. Speaker, as you may recall, I passed a resolution in this House calling for fair and transparent infrastructure investments free from political considerations. 98 per cent of respondents agreed. The evidence is clear. Politics must stay out of infrastructure funding. I appreciate this advice and will continue to stand up for the issues that matter to us in Perth Wellington. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.